morning, everybody. We um, had to skip the jelly time. And do you know I forgot glasses? Did you? <laughs> I forgot my glasses. Anyway, we had to forget jelly time this morning. We'll do it tonight with the cheese. We didn't have to forget it. Well, we didn't forget we it. Had we jelly. had to skip it because we both have doctor's appointments this morning. We need to be fasting. They're, they're going to do blood work. It's our annual physical. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, and yes, you can tell I have no makeup on because there I want him to be sure to look at my face and see if there's any spots on there that need to be um, checked. And um, so we are headed to the doctor's office, then we're gonna get breakfast because we haven't had anything, we haven't had our jelly. So, okay, we will see you. Hey, we should have brought the jelly to the restaurant. Oh, yeah, we should have done that. That would have been, been fun. Okay, we will see you at the doctor's office. So we both got very good reports at the at the doctor's office, and now we're here at a local restaurant right beside our doctor's office, actually. And we're gonna get us a bite to eat breakfast. Brian has parked in the car. Actually, he's coming in right now. So we're gonna see what we're gonna order. And um, yeah, so great reports at the doctor, great reports. I think she told you we got great reports at the doctor, but here's the one thing they told me that I was too short for my weight. I don't know what that means. You guys tell me. <laughs> He's too short for his weight. Bryant got a Greek skillet and he added just a little bit of gravy on top. And mine came with an egg, but you guys know I don't eat eggs, so I gave him my egg and toast. And I just got bacon, hash browns, toast, coffee, and a Diet Dr. Pepper. Since we're out, we thought we might ought to stop by the post office because you guys are so sweet and send us the most wonderful Christmas cards. So we are here checking our post office box. Let's go in. Wowza. Yellow ticket. <laughs> I told y'all y'all were wonderful. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We a bunch of letters. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Now we gotta go stand in line with those yellow tickets. Well, everyone, I am home from the doctor and yes, looking a hot mess, but that won't be all day today. Um, oh, I think I have a, was that a loose hair? No, it was an attached hair. Anyway, okay, let's get to making this we're going to make crock pot candy. Uh, this was a last minute decision because I'm thinking, oh no, I don't, I'm not sure I have enough. So we're going to throw this together. And of course, since it was a last minute decision, I don't have everything I need, but we're going to make do the best we can. So you just need a crock pot and you want it on low. And I'm going to start... These are 16 ounces, you need two cans, 16 ounces of, um, okay, the recipe calls for one lightly salted and one unsalted. I'm using both salted, okay? And then on top of that, we're going in the rest, I'm going to tell you what the recipe calls for, I'm not going to tell you what I got. A 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. a 12 ounce bag of milk chocolate chips. I was a little light on the milk chocolate chips. Then we need, um, let's do the peanut butter. You need two of these peanut butter chips. I, however, only have one, but I did have a bag of like Chalk Zero, which is the low sugar, the almost like the lilies grab a knife. So I'm going to use those. So here we go in with the peanut butter chips and the small bag of Chalk Zero. If y'all are watching your sugar, which I obviously am not right now, 
But Chalk Zero is an amazing company. Okay. And on top of that, we're going to go in with two pounds of, I'm actually going in with a little more than two pounds of white chocolate. But the recipe calls for two pounds. And I'm just going to kind of level that out because I still have this block to go. <clears throat> and this is part of the white chocolate. So, so I put this on low. I'm going to let it sit just with the lid on on low for a couple of hours. Now you could definitely cut this block up into chunks, but I'm just going to set it in there like that because I'm just going to leave it and walk away for a while. There we go. All right. It's set. Now you can add so much. A lot of my recipes, you can add them and make do what you want to. You can make them like the festive brickle I made yesterday. You could put whatever you wanted to on top. Um, so a lot of my recipes you can add to, like if you wanted butterscotch in that or, or whatever, you can definitely add to it. So, okay, that's going. Now we're going to start making my lace cookies. Another recipe I had almost decided not to make, but have since changed my mind or Bryant has changed my mind. So we're going to get started. I'm going to get everything I need and we're going to get started making lace cookies. So going to the doctor today has set me back tremendously and I feel so out of sorts. But anyway, let me grab this napkin over here. Um, I do you reuse the parchment on this and these cookies are super buttery. So I always have a napkin to kind of wipe off the parchment. But you're gonna start with two sticks of room temperature butter. My house is probably a little chilly since we went to the doctor today. I did not um, turn the heat up and this morning when we got up. So therefore, it's still a little chilly in here. This cookie has no flour in it. And so it is going to spread quite a bit. And that's what you want because that's what gives it that lace. <laughs> the first time I made this on here, it sounded like I said laced cookies. They're not laced. They're lace cookies. So we're going in with, and I'm just going to go ahead and get that a head start real quick. There we go. That's all it needed. And we're going in with a cup each of a cup of brown sugar and a cup of white sugar. I'm about out of my homemade brown sugar, so we need to uh, make some, but I did buy a bag just because making goodies, sometimes I'm making goodies so fast that I need my mixer, I need brown sugar, so I went ahead and bought some brown sugar. And, uh, all right, let's set that out of the way. I should have went with the white sugar first. It's okay though. All right. So we're going to beat that up real quick. You don't have to worry too much about over mixing the um, flour because there's not any in here. I'm going to get a spatula and we're going to give the sides a scrape. <clears throat> I am definitely out of sorts today. Yesterday I was able to just get up, have my dishwasher cleaned out and ready to start. I still have clean dishes. They're clean. I just don't have them out of the um, dishwasher yet. All right, so we're gonna spin that again. All right, and to that, we're gonna add two 
two eggs. And we're gonna give that a whirl. And I'm a, I'm just like to scrape, so I just want to be sure I'm getting everything off the bottom. Because as good as these paddles are, they never, even though it's a KitchenAid, I still find things that it hasn't reached yet. All right. All right, so to that, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of baking powder. And I like shaking that around and... All right, and to that, we're going to add a cup of chopped pecans. This is a super easy recipe with super impressive results. Like, you will impress. I should have made this for the cookie exchange. And now we're going in with two cups of, I use the quick oats because they're smaller. And I think that makes for a better cookie. But you could definitely use whole, but I like using the quick just because they're ground up a little smaller. These, for the most part, are definitely a gluten-free cookie. I mean, you do have the sugar, but there's no flour. Okay. All right. I wish I had my um, dishwasher cleaned out. <laughs> now this makes a ton of cookies, a ton of cookies. And because you only, you make it less than a teaspoon each scoop. So come over here to the stove. Oh, I don't have my oven preheated. Hang on, let's preheat the oven. I'll bring you back when it's hot. So in scooping these out, you want to do it ever so small. I mean, just about a teaspoon is all I would do. And leave it plenty of room to spread. And it takes me usually up one batch to kind of get my groove going because I only make these once a year and so it will take me a little while to to decide what size cookie I need if I'm going too small if I'm going too big um, if I'm not spreading them out enough it will take me just a little bit to to get my groove but we will have it in just a little bit so I'm going to try this first batch. We're going to see how we do with this size scoop. I'm getting a little bit bigger. So I may need to tone it down a little. All right, let me see if I can get one more row up here. I'm not sure my oven is quite preheated enough. It does take my oven just a little bit longer than 
my old oven, which it's been a long time since that oven. How long is, has the remodel been? What, three years? It still feels very new to me, but then when I think about it, I'm like, man, I've been in it quite a while. Okay, so we're gonna just, this is gonna be my test batch, um, just to see if I'm doing a good size, if I'm doing too many cookies, um, you know, what, what I need to tweak. And so we will um, get this test, test batch made and see where we need to go from here. Like I said, I forget. And I know this is a delicate, delicate um, recipe. And you only want to leave it in a 375 degree oven for about six minutes. When it begins to burn, it burns fast. So this is one you don't want to walk away from, or you can walk away for a second, but don't, don't forget to set the timers. So, all right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, everyone. Um, that was about perfect. The time may have, I may have left it in a little too long, but there's, it's pretty close to perfect. So we're going to let these cool just a minute before I take them off. Um, I'll probably flip the parchment over since it's curling a little bit. And, um, yeah. So I got the next batch in. I think the amount was perfect. So here they are. And you can see, you see the light through them, how lacy they are, and why they're called lace cookies. Super impressive and absolutely delicious. This, you will not be sorry you've made these. So, uh, I've adjusted the time by one minute, but this was almost perfect. So, maybe, let's see if five minutes worked better than six. Five minutes looked almost perfect, so I'm changing this one to five and a half minutes, and I think that will be the magic number for my stove. So, so definitely do your um, test batch first. So I'm gonna just keep scooping these out by the teaspoon. This is not a tablespoon scoop. This is a teaspoon scoop. So you keep um, pulling these out by the teaspoon and um, we're gonna have beautiful cookies in just a little bit. Now, storage of these is what proves to be slightly difficult. You need a cookie tin or not like plastic, like Tupperware or Rubbermaid or anything like that. You need that cheap, crinkly plastic. Um, let's see if this is it. Much like this, um, but a cookie tin is preferable. It just stores better and you do a layer and then put a piece of parchment paper, a layer of parchment paper and so forth because these do grab moisture quickly. So, um, but a cookie tin is absolutely probably the go-to way to store these. So, okay, I'm gonna keep scooping. I'm gonna be scooping all day, it looks like. I'll see you back in a little bit. Another tip while making these cookies is you don't want to move them off of the parchment paper too soon. Don't mess with them, just let them cool. Even if you need your pan, just slip your parchment paper onto a rack or whatever with the cookies, just glide it right over and let the cookies sit for just a little while before you try to mess with them. Otherwise, they're so soft. These are the kind of cookies that you can put on a mold and make like a taco shell or a cup. So, so you can mold these the way you want them, but with them being soft like that, you don't want to move them too fast or they'll squish up. So be patient. This cookie recipe takes patience because they're, you're making such little cookies. It takes forever, but they're delicious and they're worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Plus, I've never tried to freeze the dough. I've wondered about that. If I could just make a batch, like half the batch, and then put the rest of it in the freezer, I don't know. So I know I'll get asked that question, but I don't know. I've never tried it. But if you've tried it, let us know down in the comments because I think that would be perfect if you weren't making for a big crowd, but you liked having this dough on hand. I think that would be great. So let us know in the comments if you've tried that before. Okay, everybody, my crock pot after the two hours, I just opened the lid, stirred it around. 
and then began to scoop it out and it's made all these little clusters peanut clusters so um, we're just gonna let them cool and set up some of them I got really too big over there but anyway we'll let these set up and then we will um, put them in a container so I am ready to go to our Christmas event tonight <clears throat> But we and Bryant just got home from running some errands and doing a few things. I get a call. Well, he gets a call on his way home that we don't have a cow out. Like a cow has not gotten out into the road or anything like that. But we have a pasture right next to my cousin's pasture. And our bulls got to fighting across the fence together. And anyway, his bull, I think, I don't know. I don't know whose bull went where, but my cousin said he's got his bull back, and but the fences are tore up. So, Bryant's on his way to fix fences, and then maybe we'll get to go to our holiday event. Well, we got the fences done. What happened was Leslie's cousin bull and our bull got together, tore the fence down. Two, two fences, my yeah, fence and his fence. It's a double fence, so yeah. yeah. So, it took us off. I just called Isaac. Isaac come to help me. There he is. Here's my helper. Took us about, uh, I'm going to say about 30 minutes to get our side of the fence patched up. And uh, tomorrow, me and Isaac uh, will jump on it and, and fix it back up. But anyway, went pretty smoothly. And looks like I'm going to make my date on time. So let's Yay. roll. Okay, everyone. We are here. This is the manager of this band. Uh, and he's actually the dad to two of the band members. But here they come. This was such a wonderful birthday gift that someone gave Bryant for his 50th birthday. We had such a great night out. I wanted to film some. I've got just a small clip, but I'm worried about a copyright strike. I don't know if they will. Um, but <clears throat> here they were singing um, Gloria. From the holiday concert. It was so good. Phenomenal. I wish we could have shared with you, but I'm so afraid of getting a copyright strike yep. that I don't put anything, but it was so good. They are so good. If y'all get a chance, look up the Bantam Roosters. They are so good. From Asheboro, North Carolina. Yes, they are so good. One, The guy playing the drums is actually a weatherman on Channel 2. It's Jelly Time. Jelly Time. 19, right? Y'all want to know why I opened this? Tell 18 them. was the, yeah. Tell them why I opened it. Why? While you're talking. I don't know. Keeps to her hurry on me track. on. Keeps her on track. She'll, a merry little Christmas. She'll talk forever. She's like a preacher, you know? <laughs> That's why I can talk to you guys. Because <laughs> I can't get a word in with him around anywhere else. <laughs> That's right. All right. What is it, baby doll? It is strawberry guava spread we've had guava but it was peach guava or hey, apricot guava hey, now i'm gonna like it you're gonna like it a strawberry. strawberry i do like strawberry strawberries it's an odd color for strawberry it is it's a little pale it's kind of orange mm -hmm. that may be the guava i smell guava i don't smell strawberry Ooh. it's not bad it's just not what i imagined I think it's more guava, guava than strawberry. It's a it's an odd color. It's a brownish color. When you say brownish? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get the ears first. Mm. Jury's out on this one. Well, it might be good. You know where that came from? The jury's out. When the jury goes to deliberate. Mm-hmm. And they don't have a decision. They don't have their, the jury's out. If, no decision. Mm -mm. I could eat it if it's all I have. Mm -mm. 
That must have been what one we had the other day, and I said it had a bitterness. Mm -hmm. It must be the guava. <clears throat> All right. Cheese time. Cheese time. <laughs> All right, we're not going to look at what it is. We're not? Nope, we're just going to we'll change it. it up. What number? 19. We're just going to blind. I'm going to do oh. what y'all say. All right. That's been the recommendation. Even though that's taking me way out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. well, we're on repeat, so. I've already tasted it once. We've already tasted it once. Hey, I'm not looking. And you, you know, we've and already. not looking. We've already had the stinky one. Yeah, thank goodness we won't get it again. Wait, I'm not looking. Here we go. I'm going to cut it. It's like a white cheddar kind of. Mm-hmm. Mm. So smoke. There's a smoke to it. Smoke? Something smoked. She's good. I'm good? What is it? Smoky cheddar. Mm-hmm. I can taste it. But it's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I do like it. Do you like it? Yeah. I actually do here. Were there smoke? I haven't even taken thirds of these. I don't usually say. Usually I'm like, nah, no more. <laughs> but I'm taking. You know why she's taking thirds? Because I'm hungry. She can get rid of that guava. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. Don't hey, me your ribs. What y'all think about me saying that I've been working out gaining muscles and I'm proud of myself. I can carry a hundred dollars worth of groceries in one hand. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I'm just glad to know we can, so I can have him uh, carrying groceries all the time. Yeah. Mia Ritz. I said to mother. We are surrounded in Christmas presents. I have them. I have some in bags that need tissue paper. I have some in bags that need tissue paper and a tag. We have some that still need to be wrapped. Oh, I was going to open our things, the, the packages, but I'll do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll do that on tomorrow's video. Is it a long video? Well, I'm not sure. I just know I'm tired. <laughs> but we went to the post office today, and I'm excited to get into them. There's four items up there. Mm -hmm. You want to do it real quick? Sure. Let's do it real quick. Yeah. We got time. I've already opened one, and I, you know, but I didn't pull it out. This comes to me from. You don't have to give their name, do you? you Carolyn. Get... I'm not going to say last name. Carolyn from Indiana. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like a cookbook. Oh, it's Carolyn's oh, it's cookbook. Oh, it's her cookbook. Oh, that is so cool. And that puts me to shame. Her and her friends. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that is great. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's. A note inside. Oh, I'll read. I'll read that off camera. I it's won't a, read it on camera. It's a poem. I'm gonna read it. No, to it's you. not a poem. It is too. Did you read it? No. Here goes. Where's the red? Roses are red. Violets <laughs> are blue. I'm a really good cook, and I want you to be too. <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> He's telling a story. It's a personalized letter. It doesn't say that. I'm Carolyn, just, thank you so I'm much. I can't kidding. wait to go through that. I love me a cookbook. Love it. Where are the Ritz? I'll get you another. I have a piece of cheese and I need a Ritz. Mm. <clears throat> this one comes to me from Linda. Linda from South Carolina. Simpsonville. I don't believe I've ever heard of Simpsonville, South Carolina. A card. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all, I have tons of cards. I have picked up tons of cards from the post office. And I, I used to share the cards, but then I forgot one one year or I left one out. Oh, I got some rotten knives. Oh, yes. And it's the handles I like. Oh, yes. It's the black handles. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you so much. A pair, look, I have a paring knife. Mm -hmm. That is something I don't have. I don't have a paring knife. Um, oh, I'm so excited. I love the black candles because you can put them in the dishwasher and they don't, like when I put the other ones in the dishwasher and I take them out, I get black marks all over my hands. Look, I love it. Thank you so much. Very she sent you those. Much. She sent you those because one day she watched the video and you were peeling potatoes. 
and she thought that you would, uh, it may be old fashioned, but it works. Um, these are great when peeling potatoes toward us. Yes. And that's how I do it. I do not use a vegetable peeler. I, I don't like to use a vegetable peeler Maybe on my potatoes. Maybe Caroline would like one too. Oh, she sent Caroline one. All right, get that if box. If not, Brian can peel potatoes the same, <laughs> same time with you. That's funny. Miss Linda, she's a comedian. <laughs> I'm just cutting up. I do help her. I do help her. Don't I, sweetie? Mm -hmm. All right. You have to open it. I'm going to use my... This comes from Laura from Arizona. Tux, tux, tuxin. Tuxin? Tuxin. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord. It has been a long day. <laughs> Tuxin. I knew what it was, but he cut it. Oh, he cut it, and then it messed me up. It's my fault. It is. Let me read it. Okay, it's I'll, your fault. I'll take the blame. Oh, that is too funny. It's from Tuscan, Arizona. <laughs> Y'all think I'm ignorant, don't you? Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> oh, she sent you a pumpkin bread fruit cake Ooh. recipe. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Are there more recipes? Uh, maybe, and a note, maybe, possibly. Right, what you got there? <gasps> Hold it up so they can see it. Is that a road runner? Is that a road runner? I love that. Mimi. That is beautiful. She's Jamie's a, sister. She's a retired nurse. All right. <clears throat> Jamie's sister lives in Phoenix or right outside of Phoenix. That is so cool. Yep. So it looks like it is so beautiful, y'all. Look at that. A recipe and a personal letter. I love it. That is cool. That is cool. I'm thinking those are road runners. Are those road runners? I can't tell. I'm thinking they are. I don't see Wiley Coyote. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay, you got one more. One more. And it comes, I already know it comes from is it Canada. From, is it from Tuscan? <laughs> Boy, I'm, I say not, I'm not going to let her live that <laughs> down. That is, oh, mercy. That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> she is the literate one. I'm the illiterate one. This comes from Colleen from, I don't, I'm scared to ta try the town. It's Canada. What's that? Am, Am prior? prior? Am prior? I'm not sure, Ont but it's from Canada. Ontario. All right, here. Mm -hmm. It's taped up good, too. Yeah. I'm going to let yeah. him open it. Well, it's because she shipped it a long way. Yes. Okay. I'm scared of him in the mic. Y'all, yeah. I cannot believe I said Tuxin. No, I can't either. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm still laughing. Yeah. I mean, that's like... Yeah. Literally, he cut the name of the town right into it right as I was getting ready to look at it and then <laughs> my fault y'all remember that's my fault oh and she wrapped it look yeah, twice look at that wrapping thing huh? mm -hmm. that is so cute all right here we go there we go all right I got it out all right thank you it's heavy or if it's something canned in there Just like a brick. Here we go. It's taped. Hold on. It's taped. <laughs> I'll take care of it. I'll take care of the car. I don't want to miss anything. Throw anything away. Oh. Look at this tissue paper. Everybody does. Oh, oh how cute. The pepper shakers. They are cute. Look how cute. They're salt and pepper shakers. <gasps> Her last name's Kim. Colleen. Oh, is it Colleen? I think it's Colleen. I know we don't want to say their last name. We don't want to give, give too much information away. But anyway, that's sweet. Very sweet. Ooh, what is a picture. It's a picture of her family in the, in the car here. When they were at Disney World. 
past week. Is this what I think it is? I don't know. What is that? Some kind of syrup. Oh, is it maple syrup? No. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. She Everybody loves. Everybody knows how I love maple. She loves maple Pure syrup. Pure maple syrup from Pembroke, Pembroke, Ontario, Canada. Look how thick it is. See it rising back there? Oh, yeah. Oh, and look, it's got a deer on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear. It's reindeer. <laughs> Looks it's like reindeer. reindeer. <laughs> I love it. Y'all are the sweetest to me. You, you hear, you hear everything I say and take note, and it's just amazing. She loves maple syrup. And no wonder it was wrapped good. Oh. Uh, Thank I love you, it. Thank, you, thank, thank you, you guys so much. You all are awesome. And I know not everybody can send a gift. And if th that is totally fine. We just love you being a part of our channel. And we appreciate you so very much. Just the fact that you meet with us every day and want to spend your time, take time out of your day to spend with us means absolutely the world to us. Yep. And um, I can't think of a better place I'd rather be than right here with you guys and so um we love you very very much and y'all are just the most thoughtful wonderful people in the world so okay well i guess we're gonna go now um and get ready to start another day of cooking tomorrow it's about 10 30 p.m yep it's bedtime I, I thought maybe i could do something when i got home but no We'll just start tomorrow fresh. Yep. And um, so we'll see. Get to ground running. Yep. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Remember, if the grease is hot enough. Where are you going to see me? Right here. On the farming. channel. Farm and Pastor's Wife channel. Be yep. sure to like, subscribe, share the channel. Um, we like to share Jesus. That's um, right. And so that's what we want you to see here more than anything. And if you have loved ones who like to cook, who like farming, but they might need a little Jesus, send our channel to that's them. That's right. Okay, we love you guys. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.